Hi. Today will be a soft speaking video where I'll be talking about me. I was going to take a shower, and where I live, I have to pay with coins to take a shower, and so I grabbed a couple of coins and went to do it, but I noticed something about these two coins that I have. It might be hard to see. They are the same coin and produced in the same uh, same year, and I imagine they're produced in the same place. But one is, if it'll focus, nice and shiny and pretty. The other is darker, dim, slightly rusted, a little scratched, not as attractive. <laughs> and I'm not entirely sure why I started thinking about it, but I couldn't help thinking about it, how two coins that were supposed to be the same, that were the same at about the same time, how they could end up so different in my hand right now. And I started thinking about what kind of journeys this one has been through, the unattractive one, to end up like it's ended up, and what kind of life this other one has had, which is still so pristine, it still looks new. I. Uh, Obviously, I have no idea, but judging by the fact that this has rust on it, I can imagine it's gotten wet. Maybe it's been washed ashore. Or been caught out in the rain. Who knows? But it's very obvious that this one is at a very different journey than this one here. And then I looked at the year they were produced. Both were produced in 2007. And a lot of things happened that year for me, most notably. That was the year that my dad died. August 2007. And then I started wondering which one of these two coins am I? I haven't been very happy lately. I uh, have been going through a lot of conflict in my mind. I've been 
conflicted in relation to relationship issues where I believe something should be one way but the results of that method, more specifically an open relationship, are still hurting me, you know? It's an interesting thing where I believe so strongly on principle alone that it's a more healthy approach and ultimately better, but for various reasons. On occasion, I still find myself hurt, and there's a lot more to it. And then there's just other aspects of my life. I recently started a new job, although I'm not technically employed, it's more of a test period. And although the job is okay, the travel is extreme. I have to travel, uh, it depends on the bus basically, and it's up to two hours before I get to work. Mostly because I have to get there before work and there might be a bus that ends up there 20 minutes before or an hour before. You know, I don't control when I can be there. And that's been dragging me down a lot. But I'm sure there's more to my unhappiness than just recent occurrences. I think there's a lot of things that I've experienced in my life that has made me into who I am today. And they're not all good experiences. Obviously losing my dad was really difficult. And losing him when you're 13 years old is very hard. I've mentioned it before in other videos, but one of the things that stings the most these days about it is that he worked with computers and he knew about that sort of thing. And since I'm a huge nerd and I work with video game production and stuff like that, and that's my dream, I feel like I could, I could have shared that kind of stuff with him and he would get it. He would understand, he'd know what I was talking about, at least to an extent. He dabbled in programming. And worked with software and stuff like that. He'd understand, you know. I feel like I'd have someone I could really share with. I think I'd be a lot closer to him now than I was as a kid. But it's not just experiences that happened to me that have shaped me. There's also things that I have done to others. And there's one thing that I have never talked about on this channel before that came to mind earlier today. And it is probably my biggest regret. And it's going to be quite a sensitive topic for a lot of people. And it is not something that I am at all proud of, obviously. It happened when I was 14 years old. I can't really 
give a good explanation of why I did this. But at some point when I was 14, I tried to force myself on a younger boy. I'm not even into guys, <laughs> but when you grew up in a strict religious organization that really discourages any interaction with girls, you kind of, well, it wasn't just me, everyone sort of experimented with other guys. But this was not a two-way street, and I didn't force myself physically, really, but I tried to, like, block the doorway and to intimidate him. I even tried to pay him. I've never regretted anything as much as that. <laughs> and uh, I, I think I have said sorry to him. I don't even think he remembers that it happened. Um, Nothing happened, I should mention. Nothing came of it. He's a very strong-willed individual and didn't yield, which is very good. He's an awesome dude, and he remained a good friend after, believe it or not. Um, I have no fucking idea what on earth could make me justify acting that way. But there is no justification for it. And it's easy to say that I was young and dumb, but at 14, you still know better. I haven't done anything like that since, and I don't plan to. <sighs> and I've never shared it. with basically anyone, maybe a couple of people. And now you know too. These are the things that have shaped me into being the person I am today. This is what I was born with. I was born with autism. And that has been compounded, the effect of autism that is, has been compounded by an upbringing that socially neutered me, but not really allowing me to develop proper friendships or relationships with anyone outside of our church. So I didn't get to experience the real world, I didn't get to develop social skills like other people. I've been homeless, and I documented that on this channel years ago. I lived for a short period of time next to a road in a tent that leaked. It didn't hold water, basically. It uh, or didn't keep water out. It held water all right. So I would fall asleep in a wet sleeping bag whenever it rained. I also moved around Europe, living with people that I either didn't know or that I hadn't spoken to in years. All this taking place for a period of about six months. What's interesting about that time is that I never let my passion for video game development die down. 
and I also, with the help of a few good friends, managed to keep my channel going. I found internet wherever I could, uploaded videos that I'd recorded, so even to this day you can still find videos where I'm in a tent eating candy or doing whatever, making ASMR videos while homeless. I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud that I didn't completely give up. <laughs> And I would also try and keep my game projects going. I led a game project back then, I still am leading one today. And uh, I uh, try to get in contact with a couple of YouTubers to kind of get both their involvement with the game development cycle but also their support both financially and publicly and i did pretty well in that regard N didn't work out in the end for various reasons one decided to go with another project the other decided to go with our project but then our project didn't really get off the ground due to lack of funds and so it's been on the back burner and i've since moved on to other projects which are going quite well. <laughs> Slowly but surely making it there. Which is why I've recently started a company. I've now registered with the bank. We're just waiting for an answer back from them. It looks like things are looking up, and yet here I am. Really unhappy. <laughs> and I've had a massive anxiety attack recently, just a few days ago. With teeth shattering hitting myself, tears in my eyes, uncontrollable breathing. It wasn't nice. Also related to relationship matters, it should be noted that I've never been in a proper relationship before, before this, and I, I have no real experience, and like I mentioned earlier, social development was entirely fucking neutered by the way I was brought up. I don't know how to make room for another person in my life, you know? I'm so used to being alone, I'm so used to being completely wrapped up in my hobbies, my interests, my projects. I'm so used to only having social relationships for the purposes of doing something. You know, I never have friendships for the sake of friendships. Specific people lend themselves to specific interests that I have in my life. I don't just hang out. You know? It's so rare. And the exceptions are usually to, to do with people that I grew up with as a kid. So to then enter into a relationship where I have to actively show love and give time to another person has been really hard for me. And the adjustment period has been fucking rough. And I not been easy, and I've seen the results of that, and it's <laughs> it's caused more issues for me than anyone else. I it's hard for me to cope with it because I don't want to be failing at yet another thing. <laughs> this video doesn't really have much of a point or a happy ending, but I wanted to talk about how I'm doing right now. The last video I uploaded on this channel was a positive affirmation video, and I hope you're doing a lot better than I am. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not doing too well.
I mentioned earlier that I wondered which one of these coins best represented me, whether I was the pretty and unpolished, or pretty and polished, new looking coin, or the rusted, dirty, scratched coin. And I'd imagine that the flawed coin is much more representative of who I am as a person and my journey in life so far. But I suppose ultimately it doesn't matter. Because both of these coins still hold the same value. They still have the same purchase potential. So I guess that's the message. Even if you've been through hell and back, you still matter. You still have the same value as anyone else. And even if you don't feel like you do, there's nothing that says that you can't have the same value as another person. If you really want to have it. I think I'll end it there. This is a very strange, slow video. And as much as there is to digest from this information, if you're still watching, I hope you enjoyed it at least somewhat. And I hope it made you realize that I'm a very flawed individual. There's a lot of people who watch my videos and think I'm this perfect person. Not a lot of you, but there are some who think very highly of me. I'm probably not worth the hype. Have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, day, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be me eating some licorice yogurt. It's going to be sick. Bye-bye.